What's up guys, today I will show you 50 features from iOS 14. So let's get right into it. First up here we have is app widgets. You can change the size of the widgets and place it anywhere on the home screen. There's a feature called back tap. You have to go into settings, accessibility, touch, back tap. You can either double tap or triple tap to perform the desired action. So if I will double tap on the back, I have kept the settings to the notification center. Tapping twice on the back will bring up the notification center. Now you have an option to add mask to your Animoji. You can even change the color of the mask. Camera settings like flash, live photo have been moved from the top to the bottom. While on a FaceTime call, you can jump back onto the home screen. In edit pages, you can select the pages which you rarely use and keep it hidden. Once a Bluetooth device has been connected, you will see a notification pop up. While on a call, the audio switch option has also been enhanced. Siri has been completely redesigned by Apple. Now you can directly search for the text you saved and jump right into your notes iMessages have a new filter option available. You have three new Animoji stickers of Hug, Fistbump and Blushing. You have a Smart Stack widget option available where you can swipe between widgets. Activity is now called Fitness and the UI has also been changed. Now you can pinch to zoom out of your recent album tray. Siri uses less space while answering to your questions. Apple has organized all your applications in your app library. In Settings. Now you have option to place your freshly installed applications on your home screen or into your app library. You have access to 4 new iOS 14 wallpapers with dark mode settings. There's a new option available to create a contact. You can move around your home screen by swiping the three dots. Turning on sound recognition will recognize such sounds around you. Translate is an offline application which helps to translate 11 different languages. The contact interface has also been changed. Now you can even search for emojis on your keyboard. You can also use picture in picture mode. If any application is using camera or microphone, it will be mentioned above the control center. iOS 14 has more rounded corners at several places. Apple Music now has a listen now option. The battery widget also shows battery of your Bluetooth devices. Safari now has a tracking report option available. If any application is accessing the camera, it will show a green light on the top. Cycling option is available in maps. The app searching UI has been enhanced. There is a sleep mode option available in the control center. Voiceover now has a new voiceover recognition option available. You can hold on to any empty area and enter home screen editing option. Color of the music background will change according to the album cover. The camera flip icon has been changed. The calling screen now has a better UI. Other changes include app clips which is a smaller part of the application. iMessage groups now have a new profile. Now you can mention your friends in your iMessage groups. You can even pin conversations. Using inline replies, you can reply to a specific person in the group. You can change background wallpapers in CarPlay and they have added three more categories. You can use your iPhone to unlock cars and even send it to your family members. For electric cars, EV routing will show nearest charging stations. That's it for the video guys. See you in the next one.